Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about the core purpose of data profiling in Power BI. So watch the video till the end so that you are clear with every concept that will be discussed. All right then, so now to go with that, when I will go for profiling data, profiling data is about studying the nuances of the data, determining anomalies, examining and developing the underlying data source structures or data structures, and query data statistics. Like we can go for row counts, we can go for value distributions, minimum and maximum values, averages, and so on. And this concept is literally important because it allows you to shape and organize the data so that interacting with the data and identifying the distribution of the data is uncomplicated. Therefore, helping to make your data working with the data on the front end to develop reports LMs becomes uh, an effortless operation. So before you begin examining the uh, like query structure there, first of all, we need to understand the underlying structure that they generally have. So when you are going to work with this uh, profiling data they have some different uh, anomalies which are part of it these all are the anomalies which is there the first part we call them the column distribution column distributions that how the column distribution that shows you the distribution of the data within the column as you can see uh, in the column area this is the column distribution how many columns are distinct how many columns are unique everything we will be able to check out. second is your column profiling which gives you more in-depth look into the statistics within the column which is what we call the column profiling value distribution graph tells you the count of each unique value in that specific like as you can see there they will give you a count on it right they will give you a count on it then we have column statistics will also include how many zeros and null values exist along with the average value in the column and the standard deviation of the values in the column and how many even and odd values are in the column and the column statistics always check for first 1000 data and on the basis of that they will give you the decisions accordingly so these are the different options we have we do have the column statistics which include how many zeros and null value exist we do have the value distribution which tells you the count for each unique value in that specific column uh, column profiling column profile is also there I will show you that in a minute where in the column profiling we are going to check that uh, uh, like it will give you a more uh, in-depth look into the statistics within the column and the value list and the column distribution which shows you the distribution of the data within the column as well. So these all are the different options that you will be able to find out when you are going to work with this data when you are going to read this data here and that's the whole sole concepts that you must be aware of when you are going to read the data or you are going to write the data implement the data and then process the data there so you can be able to read that information related to that that can be read or that can be implemented the informations which are somehow required to display the data accordingly so that's where you will be able to see the whole procedure the whole process and the whole distribution of the data that I'm going to use. So how to check that? Go to your Power Query Editor, right click on it, Edit Query, and then for example, I want to check it for maybe internet sales. No, let's take it to the products. I want to check it for products which are there. So I can use some tasks. For example, I can go to this product and then I will go to a uh, view. In the view, the first thing I'm going to check is what we call the column distribution. So this will give you the column distribution. Now you may be wondering that what is distinct here and what is unique here. Well, to understand that, suppose if I will use HP laptop, Lenovo laptop, Mac, Dell. Suppose I have these four laptop in organizations. Now, what is the distinct data? This is the distinct data where I have the repetitions. For example, HP, HP, Lenovo, Mac. Mac is also there. Macintosh. So you can go for the Mac, Mac, and then Dell. So these all now if i will just bifurcate this part so my distinct values are hp 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 lenovo 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 mac mac and dell but when i say unique so unique values hp lenovo mac and dell they all are your unique values so this area on the top we call them the distinct they are known as distinct values and they are known as uh, unique values because these are the number of items which are there 
these are the repetitive items which are there that's why we call them the distinct so now i have checked here 606 distinct and 606 unique i agree with that because there may be a possibility that they do have the uh, only they, they have only primary key so that's why they are using this records right here well proceeding further i want to go for column profiling so which column for example i would like to go for the english product name now in the english product name the count is around 606 distinct value is 504 unique value is 427 as you can see over there and then minimum value is start from awc logo cop and max is for women's clothes these are the these are the value distributions so i have around uh, if i can check for the value distributions here so 38 62 and all these are the value distributions that you will be able to provide or you will be able to show right here these are the different type of distributions so now three disk values are there three they all are somehow similar maybe if you will go there so they said two records are there which belongs to this english product name is mountain 200 black 42 which is less than one percent and then they are just getting all these informations at this point of time that is what we call the column distribution and this is the column quality if you have any null value so as you can see at this point of time in the product subcategory i have around 34 percent of null values are there and the other are the valid data so if i will put my cursor to this so 38 percent distinct 8 percent unique and then they are showing you valid value is 66 percent uh empty values are 34 percent and you will find it out in every particular table that we will be using here for example if you will go to the dim customer so in the customer if you will check this up uh, i think in the middle name you will find around 44 percent of null values are there as you can see these are the null entries and 56 percent of the valid data and then you will be able to check for the uh for example if i will go for the middle name here then it will show you the count the value distribution and then on the basis of that you can find this data here so that's the option that you can be able to find out while going with this data operation and that's where we use the column profiling or profiling which is used to read the nuances of the data studying the or details of the data is what we will be we have just discussed about it right so now over to the slide again and then let's have some questions so how many rows does power query scan to detect the type of data in the columns do you know the number of rows count it is 1000 okay data profiling is defined as what and then finally i can go for the third question what is the risk of having null values in a numeric column what do you think is the risk of having null value in a numeric column so dex expressions that average data will be incorrect for example if i have say base amount as 5000 5400 5500 5600 sorry 5600 5700 5800 59 6000 okay so now i want to calculate the average of it so for example that is the sum which i have captured for this which i have retrieved for this this is the sum of the data now as per this record how i will calculate the average is it by 100 that's how we calculate the average or it will be other way around or if we have some other tech strategies count so what is the count right now for valid values so they are approximately eight so okay for example if you are talking about the average function so i can go there in the average and average of this right but this will give you the same record but if i will go like this average of this maybe let me try with eight so it is showing me two two four 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 five four or if i will go for equals to this divided by eight this is the approximate id or this is the approximated calculations which we can be able to get it there like five six one two is this answer correct if you will check here is this the correct answer why why it is not a correct answer because we have a null data and now if i will okay it can i can consider is correct if one two three four five six seven if i will count the seven records here but i have eight columns so how can i say that it's a correct but now if i will go back and then i will say 5800 is this count correct or is this average is correct this is absolutely correct so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concepts or if you want to have a deeper dive then we have something really really amazing for you we have our free class on microsoft power bi data analyst certification for beginners you just have to visit k21academy.com forward slash pl30 02 
and you'll be seeing this kind of interface. Just click on book your free seat now. Select an event date according to your availability. Enter your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of link on the extreme right. Save that link, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.